So I am going to be posting some cleaning videos again. This is my first one of 2024 and I'm going to be posting one every single week. I've decided that every week I'm going to be doing different things in each video just to kind of mix it up and make it more interesting. I do do quite a lot of cleaning each week, different tasks and things, but in today's video I'm just showing me doing my laundry, doing some washing up and the kind of hoovering that I do around the house and bits and bobs like that just because I want every week to be different. I don't want it to get boring or anything. And I'll just see if people wanna watch this. I know that I love watching cleaning videos. It's just something satisfying about watching them and also very motivating. Like I find it motivating to watch cleaning videos. Like even when I watch my own cleaning videos back because I have done um, cleaning videos in the past, I just start wanting to clean. I don't know why. I just feel like, oh, I'll just crack on and get some stuff done. So I just think it's a nice thing to have on whilst you're cleaning or, you know, if you just need to get loads done, just watch 10 minutes of a cleaning video and you should have at least a little bit of motivation. I don't know if you saw at the start of the video, but my washing pile was so high and I mean my laundry pile, not washing up. I literally am so bad for washing. I really need to get on top of it. And it's something that bothers me a lot. It just piles up and piles up and piles up. Like it's so bad, but I just had to get that on. I feel like when you get like a wash load on and you're cleaning, it's just kind of gets it out the way. I also think that doing the washing up and just getting all the pots cleared before doing any other cleaning is important to me just because they're just sat there on the side and they just looks dirty and just un tidy so for me washing up before hoovering or anything like that is essential <laughs> If you haven't seen my last couple of videos, you won't know that I have purchased a new dog. So I do have two dogs now. I have two dogs, two rabbits and a hamster. So every single week I have different things that I need to do for all of the pets as well. So I've obviously got to clean the rabbit's cage out. I've got to clean my hamster's cage. I give both my dogs a bath and even daily, like the dogs do have accidents on the carpets and things. So I'm constantly cleaning throughout the week as well. But I enjoy having all the animals. It gives me something to do it gives me something to look after and it does not bother me one bit to look after them and to tidy up after them because they're just so adorable and I love taking them out for walks and things my dog Teddy the new dog that you I think you saw at the start of this video he's so adorable and he's actually settled in really well and he's really well behaved he doesn't like constantly want to jump up and he's happy to just sleep in his own little bed whereas Cupcake my original dog that I had 
always wants to sleep on the bed which is quite annoying because she gets in the way and it just just pushes you off the bed but yeah Teddy's definitely settling in really really well but I think he's only about 15 or 16 weeks old now so he's still only a little puppy so he might change I've actually found that Cupcake has changed a lot as she's grown up she's become a lot more kind of I don't know not bossy but what's the word like a spoiled dog basically and she expects things and um you know if she's got something in her mouth she won't let go of it and I know most dogs are like that but she'll really growl at you <laughs> and she never used to do that when she was younger so she has changed a little bit which is you know kind of expected especially now there's another dog in the house but you know we can deal with it she'll be fine you know, as she gets a bit older, because she is still a puppy in reality. Um, but yeah, here I was just hoovering and I hoover every single room of the house once a week. If I didn't work, you know, five days a week, I'd probably hoover another time in the week as well. But because me and my boyfriend are both at work during the week, I just feel like I only need to do it once. And sometimes I do like a real proper hoover where I really kind of you know hoover absolutely every speck of dust out of the cracks of everything and I just move everything out the way but today I just felt like kind of just hoovering around things and only moving a few things out the way because sometimes you don't have time to do everything and also sometimes it is not 100% needed. So you might have noticed that the carpets on the stairs are different to the living room carpets. I'm happy with my living room carpets, like I probably will change them at some point because obviously I did buy this house um, in 2023 so I still have things I need to do. But these carpets on the stairs, I don't take my time hoovering very much because I am going to be changing them soon. And I hate them. They feel really scratchy. They don't feel comfortable. And I just, just really hate them. Like, I really hate them. So I am going to be changing my carpets at some point. These carpets are not just on the stairs. They're in um, my bedroom and my spare bedroom and the landing as well. So I, I don't usually um, spend too much time hoovering that. I don't know why. I just don't have the passion to hoover something I hate that much um, but I quite like you know the flooring that's in my bathroom I definitely won't be getting rid of that but I think the flooring that's in my kitchen that you would have seen earlier the black kind of lino I think I will change that because there's a couple of rips in it and also I think I want something a little bit lighter than a black colour I don't know I just think it will brighten the room a little bit more 
I do also carpet shampoo my carpet downstairs every single week but I'm not showing that in this video because it would be quite a lot for me to film and also I thought that that's something I can film in a different video. In my bedroom I have a pile of loads of crap like literally loads of stuff just piled up on my bed and it's because I was organising my spare bedroom and taking everything out of that so I have since filming this video actually organized that pile so it doesn't look like a total mess but if you're wondering why everything is piled up on the bed then that is why so i thought that i would just kind of end this video or at least the voiceover part of this video thank you for watching if you made it this far i will be posting another cleaning video next week showing different things that i do any products i use or any tips that i have but yeah, thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.